Okay, so here we will talk about the entire architecture, how we would be following it. Okay, so we have our front end. Every time our front end page loads, we will be injecting it with a JWT token. Okay, and this JWT token basically would be kind of, you know, as an authentication that, okay, the request is actually coming from your server. I mean, uh, web client and not server, because let's say uh, when someone discovers your uh, web socket, then they could make requests to, you know, log in fake event, which is again something that you won't want. So if, if you're not familiar with JWT authentication, check out this video in i description where I talk about JWT, how it works and everything. And I also talk about its implementation, but anyways, okay. So on demand, we will generate a JWT that will be sent to front end. And every time the front end requests to, you know, the back end. Uh, so let me quickly draw the back end. And every time the front end requests to our back end, which is basically web sockets, it will pass in the same JWT, okay. So let me quickly draw an arrow. So here we will get that JWT to verify if the request is actually coming from front end. And if it is coming, then we will log the data. Otherwise we will return an error response and close the connection, okay. So it would be like basically error response and close the connection okay if if the jwt is not valid so that would be the approach that we would be following okay so here this is just uh, architecture and let's quickly get into our backend code 